TechWorks is unique. Nowhere else on Earth will you be able to see how NASA trained astronauts to fly to the moon and back in the Apollo missions of the 1960s. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. Today's space missions are the direct descendants of those missions, but now they use 21st century tools and technologies to meet the challenges of exploring unknown worlds. At TechWorks, you will find the technologies that started it all. Today's nanotechnologies are invisible to the naked eye, but here you will be able to see the electronics and hardware that helped humans succeed at one of the most difficult and complex challenges imaginable sending astronauts to another world and bringing them home safely. No matter where humans explore or in space, the technology changes, but the laws of physics remain the same and the steps are the same. Plan, train, fly and explore. And now to talk more about planning, here is Farouk El Bas. Where are we going? Why? How will we get there? What is it like there? There will be land. What will we take? What will we bring back? These are the same questions that must be answered to plan any mission, whether to the moon, Mars, or beyond. Hi there, I'm Frank Hughes, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the training for space flights. How do we prepare astronauts for the journey into space? In the 1960s and 1970s, engineers built mission simulators, full-scale spacecraft surrounded by massive optical visual systems. These allowed astronauts and ground controllers to safely prepare for the dangers they would face while operating spacecraft, navigating, fixing malfunctions, and responding to crisis situations. These simulators were built five years before digital imaging existed, and even before video games existed. At TechWorks, you will see how Apollo astronauts learn to navigate by the stars. Mirrored reflections of ball bearings embedded in black spheres generated the three-dimensional star field so perfectly that astronauts called it the next best thing to looking out the spacecraft window. Today, Astronauts use automated star trackers that are linked to their navigation computers. And now, to talk more about fly and explore, here's Eric Anderson. Today, all of the missions to other planets have been in robotic spacecraft controlled by engineers on Earth. Today's spacecraft are far more complex and capable of communications and maneuvers that were little more than concepts in the Apollo era. In the future, satellites orbiting other planets could help guide spacecraft to their destinations. The Apollo era technology at TechWorks can inspire the next generation of creative thinkers to design and build spacecraft that can be flown to worlds light years away. No one person, no one company, and no one government agency could have planned and executed a successful space mission. And it will take a dedicated team of people like you to realize the vision of TechWorks. Whether you bring your time, your skills, your ideas, or your donation, you can help kindle the spirit of exploration in the next generation. Come join us on our 21st century journey to inspire by example. At TechWorks, your participation has galactic impact.